15. Hey, Jamie, can you have Tommy put... 10 seconds out. Stand by on the floor. Have a good show, everybody. Stand by stop VO off the top. Okay, thanks. Three, two, one, and we're hot. Stop VO's in. Q. Updates to the tragic end to the Boston Marathon that left three people dead. B is in. Stand by Sat. It happened, and it was kind of a disturbing thing. Q, Jim. Reaction from a mid-Missourian that made it across the finish line. Q. Plus, what other marathon runners have to say about the devastating race. KOMU 8 News at 9 starts now. Show opens in. Live thunder. From Studio 8A. Coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8 News at 9. My Q anchors. Another U.S. city has Dual been the target in. of a deadly terrorist Losing attack. Losing key two. And I'm Jim Super. Ray. Thanks for joining us. The attack happened at Boston's popular Stand by marathon Seth. when two bombs exploded. Police say... Three people are dead. NBC's Ann Thompson has more on this tragic story. Sat's it's in. It's back in just two minutes, 30 seconds. Steps away from their ultimate goal, the unthinkable. Marathon runners and spectators violently injured. Explosions going off within seconds of each other at Boston's Copley Square. At first, it almost sounded like a cannon blast, but it felt so strong it literally almost blew my hat off. Um, and everybody started running the other way. There were a few people that were running over towards them to help out the injured, and there were some really bad, bad injuries. Some people were very, very badly hurt. The clock at the finish line read four hours, nine minutes, 43 seconds when the first explosion went off on Boylston Street. The second a block away, a place of celebration instantly transformed into a scene of chaos. Like everything was normal, everyone was relaxed and happy. Got an explosion right next to the finish line. One minute, 30 seconds um, remaining in this package. another, maybe 30 seconds, another explosion. No supers in this package. And pandemonium struck. Now there was a race of a different kind, to rescue people and save them. I was carrying a, somebody who lost both of the legs in the explosion. It was a lot of them were lose, lost limbs, catastrophic. It was loud, it was really, really loud, and then people, just chaos everywhere. The smoke could be seen from across the Charles River. Boston police called in all off-duty officers to help. Ambulances took 19 victims to Massachusetts General Hospital. This is like uh, a, a bomb explosion that we hear about in the news in Baghdad or Israel or some other tragic point in the space in the world. It was carnage. It was just carnage. I saw a man uh, who lost part of his leg. And then uh, all, the, uh, all the folks from the Just about Africa 30 seconds remaining in this package. They had to get called into action. Some 27,000 runners from 96 countries signed up for the 26.2 mile race from Hopkinton to Copley Square. Those still on the course after the explosions were diverted away from the finish line. Authorities would not speculate on whether this was terrorism. We're not uh, being definitive on this right now. Uh, Prime, to go to audio, please, until we get until we get out of this package. Based upon what happened. The race famous for Heartbreak Hill, today the site of just heartbreak. Fives in, stand by four and a three. Ann Thompson reporting as reports of the explosion unfolded. We spoke to some mid-Missouri runners who were in Boston. Four and three shots Gina in. Cook is here, and she's got some reaction. Stand by five, on set right. All of the runners KMU spoke with today said they are okay. Stand by to point five. The confusion surrounding the situation was frightening. Five's in, stand by side. Earlier I spoke to Mike Tripp, a Columbia resident who heard the first explosion from stand about three side. blocks away after he finished the race. He told me he could tell something was wrong when he softly swarmed the area and heard them say it was an explosion on their radios. But he didn't even realize there were two explosions until he made it back to his hotel. Kiyomi spoke with other runners earlier today who also described the situation. So that's it. By the time we got back in and I turned on the TV. We're super. You, know, you get to see. All Next the super's from 8 to 24. Kind of an emotional thing to see. One of our friends came upstairs super after she in. finished and said that there were two Blues. explosions at the finish of the race. She had just finished and was walking through and had heard the explosion and came directly to our hotel, which is less than a mile from the finish. Initially thought maybe it was part of the Lose. race, like, you know, that they were doing some kind of... Next super's from 56 um, to 115. You know, cannon, <laughs> or some type of explosion, but the day control. But then when it, we, everybody turned and saw 
massive black smoke, and then there was another explosion pretty much immediately after that, and then panic kind of set in, and everybody basically had to quickly start moving the opposite direction. Um, all the neighborhood people came Super out, Zen. they went out and got water, Where's they got trash bags for us to stay warm Five on set ride in they gave us water and about 10 seconds, stand by. Everyone was trying to comfort everybody. Stand by Gina, camera it was five. Because nice. it, was, it was scary. Five, stand by six. The husband of that last woman you just heard from was waiting for her at the finish line when the explosions happened. We'll have what he has to say about that experience on Cami Wake News at 10. Six is in, stand by four, hey, touch screen, Dan Kennedy Mike is standing six. By with our lo the list of our local runners who were in the race and an interactive look at where those explosions happened. Dan? Dan's in. Brittany, as you know, it was a big day for the city of Boston. Patriots Day, the Red Sox play this morning, of course, the marathon. And in that marathon, we found at least my 18 touch full and it's in. Go ahead and take a look. This is a list of all 16 entrants Justin, from Columbia. The youngest is 29, the oldest 66. Okay. Uh, We've also been able to find Shane, please one pass along to Dave. He has 30 seconds for weather. City. Is that extra? Also on our website at no, just 30 seconds I also want to show you a quick Okay, look remember that I have to move the camera. Today. It's a standard marathon distance, 26.2 miles long. If you look at this map right here at this 26 green square, that's where the explosions took place on Boylston Street. If you've ever been to Boston, that's about a Hang mile on. away from Fenway Park, which the runners pass at mile marker 25. The New York Times actually took a closer look at where those explosions took place. Okay, this four is the moving, seen by five. Of your screen at about 250 on the north side of Bolston Street, just before the finish. The second explosion. I need Drew on his mark. I need Dan out of the way, please. Move him. Please first. move them. And they were we're coming to Dan. Relative. We're coming to Dan. Uh, difficult to reach loved ones in Boston, but the internet. Made that a bit easier today. Google created a person finder for the marathon We're coming explosion. to Brittany relatively on, soon. I need information about someone's whereabouts. I need another way, please. Information. Anyone can provide He's that information. Camera, and so. then something I found just about an hour ago. This is a Google Doc of folks offering places to stay in Boston, complete with their names, numbers, addresses, you name it. It goes on uh, pages after pages. Just an incredible outpouring of support from the folks in the Boston area this evening. Brittany? Five. Thanks, Dan. The events in Boston today were tragic Same by four and left many HK. in disbelief. KOMU8's Drew Brackett went to Wilson's Fitness to talk to some local runners. Drew, what were the reactions that you got about the events that took place? Four is back in. Stand by, I VO. I spoke with multiple runners today about the tragic events in Boston. VO's in. It's been a rough stretch for some Blue of the Super biggest Five marathons is going to move in the, the world. When we Remember take in side. November when the New York City Marathon was canceled due to Hurricane Sandy. Now the Boston Marathon was interrupted by the deadly explosions. Running a marathon takes hard work and dedication. I spoke with one runner who says she would have been upset if she something like that would have happened to her. Sat, sat in, excuse it would be me. devastating because it's a huge feat to get to the starting line for one thing, but I mean you're surrounded by, like, by a four lot of for the tag. camaraderie and it's just, you set your mind so much on just that finish and just you put yourself through months and months of training, and to have that taken away from you is pretty devastating. QM on four, stand by first weather. I spoke with were de disappointed and scared by the events that happened today. First weather, Q. On the weather scene, it looks like some showers and thunderstorms are developing out there, and uh, some of those might even be a little strong later on this okay. evening. Okay, we'll do first weather chat four is moving. Storm watch issued uh, in the next hour or so. We're seeing some pretty good-sized thunderstorms, particularly down to our south. Portions of Montauk County, California. Four is moving to a BAM northern shot. Northern sections of Morgan County and down by the Lake of the Ozarks. Those are kind of drifting toward the northeast. Same by first weather we'll chat. On them. The forecast is coming up four. on KOMU 8 News at 9. Yep. Thanks, Dave. Four is in. The Columbia City Council has just by live shot. on the plan to fix traffic troubles in the grasslands. Same by live transition. On Providence Road, it's in. UH's Danielle Carter is live at the City Council yeah. meeting with the details. Danielle? Cure. Well, as you can see behind me, this group of people behind me, some of them are overflow from the meeting, which was so packed with people wanting to talk about the changes to Providence Road, they had to come out here and stand. Now, here's what we just learned. The Columbia City Council has voted 5-2 to two to rescind the previous option for fixing Providence Road. Now, the City Council passed that option three, last November. Side. And here's what the Public Works Director had to, had to say about that previous option. Sats in. And that's part of option nine, that you Turner, we call it Turner Rollins bit Burnham, and there's a light that goes in at Turner, uh, and that helps with their uh, parking garage the on the university, get uh, traffic in and out of their garage, 
and then also a light would go in at Burnham, uh, which helps the Grasslands neighborhood get access to Providence as well. Live shots in, standby five on a two. Now that that option has been struck down, there is another one on the table, which is option 8A. Now that one is cheaper than the previous option, 2.1 million versus 3.2 million. And it would also install a sidewalk along Burnham Road, which is very shot. heavily traveled by pedestrians. Now the council now plans to come up with a new plan at a later date and have people decide on it then. Reporting live in Columbia, Danielle Carter, KOMU 8 News. Fives in, stand by B. The ship's captain says he did his job, but prosecutors disagree. B.O.'s in. Coast of captain is in big trouble. Plus, Dio. Japan and NATO leaders stand by Dave. to strengthen their relationship. Uh, Dave's in. Uh, I'm just going to go to break. Dave's not there. Yeah, I didn't have time.